morning, everyone, and welcome, welcome to Natik Yarns in Elk Grove, California, and natikyarns.com coming to you live on, I'm sorry, a day. terrible Thursday <laughs> today. We come in this morning, the computer's working just fine. Susan comes in and goes to check in, somebody's blocking or whatever, and it won't load, so we think it's her computer. I try my computer, now it won't work on mine, now it won't work on this one, like, Wait, we try to call the company. They're like, they're, they're I guess so overloaded with phone calls of stuff not working that we got the wah, wah, wah of there's nobody here sound. They're down. So we're still going to do our video like normal. Um, at this very moment of being live, our website is down because the powers that be are down. Therefore, we are down. So if you fall in love with something, call us after the video. And we will make a list, maybe on paper, because I don't trust computers right now. Right. Um, so we'll make a list, and then when the computer comes back up, we'll put it on account for you, and then we'll call you later. Because depending on how many of you do that, we may not call you the minute that we put it on account. But if you get a receipt, that just means that it's back up, and we did not charge your card because we don't have your card on file. So don't just panic call us or send an email to hello at natikyarns.com with the color number and quantity daniel will forward that to us and we will ensure you get your yarn uh where is it there you can email there us, it is call us etc and of course you can come in and we'll also save it for you because hopefully it's i'm sure they're frantic i can only imagine if you're responsible for hundreds, thousands, I don't know how many businesses they mm -hmm. run point of sale for. If you're responsible for all these businesses and your systems just crash, can you imagine the pressure? I can. I've seen it. Um, <laughs> oh, we're so dead. Like, Don't bother the tech guys. Yeah, They're working. They're tech support absolute right hardest and doing the best they can. Yeah, like those poor guys are probably um, about to have heart attacks because... I just can't imagine that pressure. Like, you're responsible for hundreds of businesses' success. I worked at a computer software <laughs> company, and they did parks and recreation software. Oh. And when we went down... Panic ensued. Wow. Yeah, so I learned the proper care and feeding of techs. You bring them cookies. So... <laughs> There's some irony to that, considering what we initially thought broke everything was clearing our cookies. Oh, this is true. <laughs> it's the problem. We didn't have cookies. Yeah. Um, Start your day with cookies. That's yes. Apparently what we were missing. All right. We'll try again tomorrow. So, Joy, everybody loves computers until they don't work, and then we want to punch them. Yeah. Then I want to go see if they have computers at one of those smash room places. That's really what Ooh, it is. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? I have old laptops. Is there any parts we need to take out to make it safe to smash them without things exploding in our faces? Please ask uh, Steven. Yeah, I'll ask my husband. <laughs> Because we can smash those. Smashing things is fun. Because they're just going to go to e-waste when they're done, so we might as well smoosh them first. <laughs> I can't quite get them all in. Oh, you got one, it. One frame situation. You Actually, it is all there. Really? Including the daily. Yeah, I did it. Okay. All right. So, grand prize time. We have beautiful, gorgeous, rainbow watercolor sock. This is color 102. It is a true sock yarn because it is 25% nylon, which makes it durable enough to be socks. But of course, does it have to be socks? No. Definitely not. It can be a sweater. It can be a shawl, a cowl, a hat, leggings. There are knit patterns for leggings. There are. I just, my legs are hot thinking about it. Like, excuse me, what? No. <laughs> Wool leggings, I'm like, I'm going to have to live in Antarctica for that. Mm, no, thank you. I mean, I don't want to live in Antarctica. No. Let's just go there right now. But 458 yards mean there's even enough yardage for bigger feet. Uh, then we have a skein of Alexander's lusciously wonderful black butte in the natural color way, which she calls silver. It's 65% superwash merino. 15% yak and 20% silk and is 438 yards of luscious. I think I have a sweater quantity of this in my stash too. Ooh. Like Danielle was saying, she had some in hers and I'm like, yeah, I think I might also. 
I used mine. I had a shawl worth. I used it. <laughs> I have my stash organized by weight and then Alexandra's and our earrings. Oh, and nice. Her. They get they, their own. They each get their own bins. Yeah. Some of them have more than one bin. Oops. Then we have three patterns that you can do with these two fabulous yarns. Montagna Arc on CL, which has a beautiful slip stitch pattern on the border. Then we have Vino Verde, which was originally a mohair ombre and merino cloud to give that sheer versus opaque, but you can of course do it in two fingering weight yarns like the prize and get a similar but equally beautiful effect. And then we have the Evening Glow Poncho, which is a Fibonacci stripe sequence, which just means the number of rows in each stripe changes. It's all knit a row, purl a row. Very, very easy. Um, I'm gonna give you the supply tin to talk about because UPS is here. Ooh, more packages. All right, our class supply tin. Of course, you get the tin. You get a squishy tape measure, uh, 60 inches. See, you get the tapestry needle, you get folding scissors, some locking stitch markers, two sizes, let's see if I can get them, two, two sizes of snag-free rainbow iridescent markers, and everything fits in the tin except the tape measure. Hard to lose, well, harder to lose that in your bag. And that one, got the pen. Got to get it all back in here with only one eye on it because I'm holding the camera. How many things can we do with one hand? Right, and then last but not least, we have one of our fabulous light up pens. The logo lights up with a click of the stylus like And then if you twist, you get a pen. And if you twist back, you don't have a pen. And then of course you have a stylus so that you can do, do, do on your touch screen. But we're leaving the cap on yours so that we don't wear it out. We have our own that we can wear out. And how you get entered into the grand prize drawing is every time you make a purchase from the first of the month through Halloween, then you get one entry per purchase. It is cumulative, so the more times you spoil yourself or others, um, the more entries you get. We've had two purchases this month that the notes say this is for someone else, like oh. <laughs> and that someone else is going to pick it up. So it's like, ooh, this is fun. We've got like almost like a secret Santa thing going on. Nice. Here. So then on Wednesday, November first, we'll draw to see who our lucky winners winner is. Winners plural brain our winner one is winner. singular There's one winner There's one grand prize you're all winner. winners but one person gets the grand prize however there will also be one daily prize winner every day that's see that's where the winners come from yeah we have like 20 winners a month uh so we have paired this beautiful kind of faux ferrile self-striping yarn with our pattern dose which is a really fun pattern with double yarn overs as you can see, it knits up beautifully and is self-striping. It just gives a little laciness to the fabric, but not a stitch pattern that argues with a self-striping yarn. And this yarn is enough to make either the small or the medium size. You can make the large, but it would be not as tall. Because this one is, I think, 382 yards and we used 437. So maybe you'd only get 7 inches instead of 8. That's okay. Close enough, right? It's a cowl. Still a good size. Beautiful pinks and purples, because pinks and purples. So, I don't even trust technology anymore, but oh, I'm trying to skip a step here. Uh, we'll see if it works. Let's see. How you get entered into the daily prize is by interacting with our videos. I don't know what that is. Uh, if you react, then you'll get one entry per reaction 
if you comment, then you'll get five entries per comment. And if you share, typical, <laughs> share, nope, don't click back there yet. Share again, share all the places, then come back to your, the video for the day and say shared to and where, and you will get 11 entries per share. And then that all gets piled, piled, <laughs> compiled, <laughs> you know, the computer decided to make me pivot 20 minutes before video, so my brain might be fried already. So it'll all get compiled into the next day's drawing. So today's winner will be determined off yesterday's video interactions. And we'll see who our lucky duck is today. Darla Mills, congratulations. It's like it knows she was just... I know. Ready. You get to come back and visit us, Darla. So when you do, let us know you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet for you. If you cannot make the drive down here, next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes that you have a prize and we will include it in your shipment. Handy dandy little eyeglasses pod. Boy, those went like crazy yesterday. They're, they're weighted from like here down. They're super sturdy. Slip your glasses in there next to your computer and you won't lose them like I do. Or the eyeglasses chain. We didn't do these on video yet, did we? No. They're so cool. You attach them whoop, to your glasses. Um, for those of you just joining us, our website is down. Our point of sale is down. The company that does it is down. So if you see something we're about to show you that you really, really love, give us a call after the video. Send an email to hello at natikyarns.com with the color and the quantity you want, we will put them on account and call you as soon as we can. So we're still doing our video. We just can't. Oh, wait, is it back? Hold on. It's back. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> and I did that on live. That was, that was on camera. Oh, thanks. You just made that. my day. Sorry. <laughs> you have no idea how stressful it is to be like, nothing works. Like, well, maybe you do, because you've probably been there. Yeah. Done that in your own life or your own job, but it's really annoying. Okay, now you can make purchases so, like normal. Ooh, okay, it's all fixed. You don't Yay. have to call us. You don't have to email us, although you can call us and email us, because we love talking to you. Uh, but you can go on natikyarns.com and buy to your heart's content. So let me link, since it's actually working. We'll give them a... We'll give him a sneak peek there. I can't make a zoom. My fingers aren't cooperating. Nope. Yep, nope. It doesn't. It's not. Well, maybe it's just not cooperating. It didn't want to zoom no, for Facebook's me. Mad. Yeah, right. <laughs> we get one technology working or the other one, and I'll take our website over Facebook any day. I can find other ways to do a live video for you guys. But, right. You know, no website is kind of like, wait, but that means no yarn. So that's like a sad, sad day when we can't have yarn. All right. So we are going to talk about the fabulous, beautiful colors that we have in stock of Art Yarns Silky Twist. This is a worsted weight yarn, 80% extra fine merino wool, 20% silk, 219 yards per skein of fabulousness. Phyllis, I see your question. Anna is checking. They're under ten dollars. Under ten. So if you search "I wear pod," it should come up. I don't know if I put them on featured products yet. It might be at the bottom of the front web page. Okay. And then this is. I figured. Let's just start with Danielle's favorite color. Three forty-eight, yeah. aka beet pink, because pretty sure. Actually, I think we should change the name from Beet Pink to Best Pink, since it's her favorite. Pink. Yeah. We just call this the Best Pink. We're still going to call it Beet Pink. I know. Habit. <laughs> it's the Best Beet Pink. How about that? Okay, that works. That's starting to turn into a tongue twister. Yes. But it is that beautiful, gorgeous, deep raspberry pink that if you spill beet juice on your stuff, it will be this color. Beets are more red, but their juice makes pink stain. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. 
Mm. <laughs> I can only imagine. What beets with salt are delicious. Oh. You just sprinkle some, like, crystallized, like, the good salt on there and... I haven't tried down, that. And then it's good for you. What did I see? Somebody has packaged ready-to-go small beets. I think they're huh. Trader Joe's. I just bought a can of the sliced ones. Oh, that too. And then we have this gorgeous H7, which is like cherry red and then a deeper, more um, like cranberry red. I feel like this is like the shades of your lipsticks. All the good reds. And the H colors are kind of a subtle, variegated, tonal, like think, it wasn't art yarns, but think like my green sweater that I wore like two days ago, how the colors kind of oh, right. were subtly pooling, like that kind of color palette. I'm going to say H for highlights. I think that is what it's for. Then we have this gorgeousness. This was the Pantone color. This is Viva Magenta, which I disagree. This is for Vellian, not v Magenta. It's a bright electric neon pink orange red. That gets it all. That's almost what Vermillion your... is. It's pink, orange, and red all at once. It's almost your sweater. Just about. Funny. Different brands of yarns, but yeah. almost the same color. You could get this color in Merino Cloud and make my sweater. Oh, yes, Jackie. It's pickled beets that I buy for oh. reference. And then if you like a gorgeous ombre, but a little bit subtle, Viva Magento in the 7 Series is fabulous. You've got kind of down all the way to a neon coral shaded up to that beautiful deep vermilion color. Now I want next. Yeah, I'm like, Jackie, what else goes in a beet salad? Because I've never had that. I'm time sped up. Okay, that works. I mean, beet is the main ingredient. Well, it's typically still like a salad with green. Okay. A form of greens and then beets and like feta. Um, yes, please. Walnuts, usually. No. You could switch to pecans <laughs> if you didn't like walnuts. You could do no nuts. Ooh, this is pretty. But let's look at patterns because I had fun quickly finding new patterns this morning. I had to pivot. I don't know why. It, I'll just hold it. it works and sometimes it doesn't. This one is, I thought it was new because I'd never seen it before. Actually, what caught my attention was her stash dance cowl pattern. We'll pop over to that for a second. Oh, that's fun. And this was like the first thing that came up on like hot right now worsted nice. patterns on Ravelry and I was like oh that's really cute and then I was like okay it's not available oh no it goes with if you buy the shawl you get the cowl pattern also so you're getting two patterns nice. for the price of one it's meant to be a stash buster but I could just use two colors of silky twist and do whatever I want especially a seven series right I mean I think it'd be really pretty to just do even really subtle like do the viva magenta and the seven viva magenta so that it's just got a little variation in it it's funny that you're gonna go subtle because i'm over there looking at electric slide well is there really anything subtle about neon though i mean no but, but we could bring over our friend electric slide which is one of our natique exclusives in ultraviolet Highlighter orange, hot pink, turquoise, lime green, lemon yellow. How crazy would that be? Not at all crazy. I mean... That hurts my it eyes. Makes, it makes my eyes happy. <laughs> That's happiness. Happiness right there. You could tone it down. Yeah, I'm looking at that one. This. Yeah. That would be pretty and not so eye searing. Although, you know me, I'm going for the ice earring. Mm -hmm. So, stash dance, either shawl or towel. You could easily get away with one skein each of two colors, one skein each of three colors. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, Jackie, you're doing a wavy garden with electric slide? Oh. Gorgeous. Is that I mean, a, it's a slip stitch pattern? Definitely. 
Oh yeah. Like slip stitch with yarn in front type stitch pattern so it makes those little dashes. That's fun. I'm doing that on one right now. But it's nothing crazy. Easy peasy. That almost looks like if you were to do H7 and 348. Then we have a super cute hat, this Amethyst Wish Toque. This is another slip stitch pattern. So look how cute that texture is. Is it not zooming? Nope. All right, let me come in. That one looks almost like they used like one of the 7 Series colorways with a solid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they didn't use this yarn, but it has that effect. One skein each of your two colors would actually be able to make two hats. You could just reverse them. I want a tiny one in an ornament size, you know, to hang. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be cute? Because oh, I, love, I love this pattern here, the texture. We'll use some of your sock yarn leftovers and make a mini one. Maybe. We'll see. I know. I just, she's like, I'm using my sock yarn leftovers. I am, yes. This okay. slippy cowl. That one's cute. It's just got like two different slip stitch patterns and then some garter stitch in between. And I love that they changed. I wonder if they were running out of yarn, but I like that it looks on purpose. Um, that they changed colors just for the bind off. So you get that one last little pop at the end. And that one's another free pattern. So more money for yarn. And definitely one, another one that if you got two skeins, you could easily make two cowls. That's really pretty. I'm like, how have I never seen that one? Cause it's a mode in it pattern and it's been around since 2013. Like, how have I missed that? I don't know, because I know I've seen it. I'll have to send it to you so you don't lose it. Yes. I need to add it to my library. That's what I need to mm -hmm. do. All right. Ooh. I'm going to go a totally different direction here and do the yellows. We have color H8, speaking of highlights. It's like straw and bronze and sunflower a little bit of like dried wheat, very beautiful shades of yellows. Is that your color, Cindy? I see yellow hearts. Well, be still your yellow hearts because yeah, we're right? going <laughs> to add to your joy right now with 2397, which is more of a tonal of just like a sunflower and a marigold. So really just two shades in this one. And then if we want to continue the yellow ombre, fuzzy, um, we have N20B, which is like electric sunflower. And for neon, I wonder if the B is for bright. I don't know. It seems redundant. I'm sure there's, I, I, I do want to know. Yeah, I don't know what her B code is. I know most of the codes, but I don't know B. I want the logic behind her naming. I'm sure it's, you know, which dye mix it is or something, but... Or bold or brilliant or... Bee I don't know. Mmm, yeah. Emphasis on B because it's yellow. Oi. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> you love me in my Yeah. Voice. You know, I'm going to have to transition colors as Ooh, well. Ooh, put that one with it. Fit. No, it goes with everything. D these two. Somebody, please. I now want to you, see that. Okay. Now you guys know why I have an electric slide problem. It goes with everything. It does. And it's really not a problem. So there's that. Right. Going into the greens, we have 378, which is kind of like a prickly pear, lime, bold goodness. It's more Frank Ochre than lime green from what the phone is showing. Oh, yeah, the phone's making it too yellow. This yeah. is definitely green. Phyllis, I will put all the links in the collective when we are done here. It's a little hard to link and video at the same time. We have discovered that Anna's brain can't brain very well if I have to do that many things at once. So we link it after the fact for you. Then we have this really... See, I don't know what S stands for either. Soft? Right. 
Oh, that but would make sense. It's like this soft, springy green S1. But just subtle. It's like two shades of like more sage and more of a yellow green. I'm going to go with S for soft, like it's the soft palette. But S1 is the spring green. I'll do one more and then show you guys a few more of the patterns that I fell in love with this morning. We have N32A, which is, of course, a neon. And a very bright electric, it's like neon Kelly green. That works. So see, we did a nice little ombre of yellow to green. And, I mean... Does that work? Yes. I like it the other way, but that's okay. <laughs> Stay. Oops. Stay. Alright, this is Karabe by Justina Lorkowska. I love her patterns. Very good patterns. Ooh, hello. That's not very much zoom. But it's just a really simple stripe pattern. Maybe another, ah, oh, there we go. With little slip stitches on the row that you change colors. So you get this little textured looking line right there. I love the beautiful ribbed shawl collar. Oh, that is pretty. You can, of course, do it with or without buttons. So if you're never gonna button it, just ignore buttonhole instructions and keep doing ribbing. <laughs> That's an Anna sweater, Kathy says. Absolutely. And it's cute in like all the color palettes. This one gives like favorite sports team vibes. This one's just a little electric. Which That's is fabulous. Fun. Mm hmm. And that one is 900 to 1650 yards for a 28 to a 50 inch. Then we have this back east wrap, which looks more like something you would do. It does, definitely. Some stockinette, some garter stripes. There's, I can't tell yeah, what, what is texture. that? I know, I'm like, something zoom. Nope. Nothing's going to zoom in close enough for us to tell what that stitch is. It almost looks like that one starburst stitch. A little but bit. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. So you're going to have to knit this so that we know what that is. But yeah. this is one that it looks like they did like the asymmetric triangle in the middle first. And then picked up stitches along this edge and kept going increasing out in the middle. And then on the two edges. It's really pretty. Hey, look. They might be really Oh, how to funny. <laughs> um, this one is 730 yards, which is two, basically going to be two skeins each of color A and B. Kathy Delgado agrees with you. Same last name it was meant oh, to be. Right? I think you should knit it. All right. One more, and then I'll show you more fabulous colors. This is meshed. It's a little okay. hard to say. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to mesh up the name mm, of it. That's, that's pretty. Gonna happen. It's like that honeycomb stitch pattern, but instead of the background color being the ombre, they did the foreground color. So it pops a little bit different. This person just did two solids. It's just a nice, simple, slouchy hat. Definitely needs a fabulous palm on top. And that one's going to be two skeins. One of each. All right, let's show you more pretty colors. Because more pretty colors. Oh, yes, Shelly. Electric slide in the yellow. Right? Yes. All right, let me take the greens and yellows away. We'll just hang on to electric slide. Right, because it goes with everything. So why not? I do have one more green, but it starts to go into the blue-green family. This is H13. It's like emerald and jade green all mixed into one. So pretty. 
Oh, Shelly, you don't even have to just call us either, it, unless you just want to talk to us, because that's <laughs> always cool. But the website works again, so we're very, very happy campers right now, because that was like, really? Mm-hmm. Then this one's gorgeous, H26, more of like those deep tropical blues with splashes of emerald green. I'm like, where's the real color There's on the video? Cobalt right here. Oh, this color is, is never going to do it. It is not true at all. This is one of those colors that never, ever cooperates. It's very tropical waters. Yeah, give us a comparison here. Oh, this is something James to. Or Shelly. Oh, okay. Uh, Shelly, in 20B. Did that. Uh, nope, that didn't fix it either. It's just one of those colors. This is in the color family of you have to trust me. Because my camera is a liar, liar, pants on fire. And then we have a beautiful turquoise blue in 30B. It's like that turquoise sea foam. It's in that really soft, almost robin's egg blue, but more green blue than that. Almost a certain jewelry company in blue. I'm not saying it because I don't want to mess with the copyright people. Okay, I figure if you know jewelry, you know the name because I have no clue. Starts with T, ends with any. Oh, yeah, that one, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you know I, it, you just I, don't know it. I think of them as the lamp people, I don't think of them as jewelry. Oh, how funny. Yeah. Is it the same company yes. that does the lamps yeah. and the jewelry? Yeah. How funny. Okay. Learn There's something our, new yeah. every day. That's our new thing. All right. In 24B, totally jumping ship in color palettes here to a beautiful pinky purple. It's like a rose pink, but it's got lavender shadows. Yeah. The camera's Fairly almost close. doing it. It's graying it out a little bit. It's a little more springy of a color than it looks like on our monitor. It's funny to watch the monitor. I think I'm holding really still and yet it's moving. Yeah, and it's got this little bit like... Yeah, mm. sorry folks. There's almost we're only human. <laughs> so still we can hold because we're not tripods. In 22B. Wow. For those who like bright, bold, neon, electric, fabulous pink. Gorgeous. You know, think like Barbie pink. Right? <laughs> Told you it goes with everything. It does. I'm just going to put it right here. And then, if you're more of a uncle person, I got to look at, at the 10. Okay. In 10A, which is like electric raspberry violet. Because there's definitely some more purpley shades, but the highlights are more pink. I think it's a little more pink in real life. Yeah, the camera is purpling it up a little bit more than is realistic. Nope, not going to change. I'm going to turn these this way because yeah, I we need more room. Purples, and you're not going to be able to fit the whole gradient on the screen, so we'll go like this. Uh, in 18A. They just keep getting brighter. Electric violet. Oh, look how pretty that is. I mean, like, wouldn't, I mean, I realize this one's not bright, but it still it's... makes, like, that would be a great ombre. Then, last but not least, for the purple pink palette, we have H5, which has some of that, like, more berry plum purple to more of the blue violet, almost indigo purples. <laughs> Eileen, oh, there it is. Yeah, right. I, I wanna, see we found her section. I want us to see something with all five of these, with this doing like an I-cord, you know, pick up stitches and do an I-cord all the way around. That would work. Or that Moon Bumps shawl, <gasps> if you, I you know, I think it was fingering weight, but if you figured out modifying it to worsted, you could do each sec mm, block yeah. section in between the stitch pattern sections in these shades, and then do the little bumps in this. Write that down so I can add it to the collective, and we'll have to make a note that modification is required. 
Right, Karen? This one is totally us. Maybe and Eileen. figure out how to convert that texture and just put it on like a sweater or something. Shawl. Or just make it a big you, rectangle wrap. You said the wrong S word. I said the best S word. Mm. Sweater, 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 sweater. Shawl. <laughs> that wasn't on camera. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I missed it. Uh, All right. Okay. More projects. Amira is a super cute sweater with this fun, like, diamond with little starbursts in the middle. It's got all of, like, your increasing right here, and then your pattern, and then I'm sure there's some more increasing hiding. Because it can't possibly all be before the patterning. But just this one short little section of color work. Like, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like 13 rows of color work, and then easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can tell she definitely made it cropped, but you can, of course, adjust that shorter if that makes you happy, or shorter, longer. Longer. If that makes you happier, which it does me. I'm not a crop top person. I'll be pulling on it all day long. And this takes 660 to 1200 yards for, let's see, sizes 28 and a half to 51 and a half. Your contrast color, you're only going to need one, no matter what size you're doing. And your main color is going to be three to five skeins. If you want it longer, add a skein. That's what I recommend. Then we have this wavelength cowl that uses two colors, one in a stockinette chevron pattern and one in barter stitch. Do electric slide where the yellow is. Uh-huh. I mean, it's just so pretty. And that one is easily a one skein of each color, whether you're doing the short or the long cowl. I have a solid purple in my stash. I just need electric slide to go with it. Now uh -oh. look at this one. Oh my goodness, how fun. The stickly cowl. It's like little sections of plaid. It's just slip stitches and garter stitch. Nice. A lot of knit around, purl around. Very easy. One skein each of your two colors is all you need. All right, let's show you more fabulous more, colors. More pretty purple. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit it all in one video. I was wondering about that. Because we have a lot of colors with Silky Twist. We're just going to call it the electric slideshow. <laughs> That's that. funny. <coughs> it might start to not go with everything here in a second. You say such strange words. But um, you might you might be right. Might, might have, have to move to take it. it away because <laughs> this one's gonna clash. Three fifty-seven, which is like dusty coral. Then we have a deep burgundy, three hundred two. Good morning. Then nine thirty-seven which is this deep plum violet and like burgundies and rust. It's basically Susan and I in a skein, the red person mm -hmm. and the purple person. And then one more to complete this palette. We need to make matching but different oh, cowls. Yeah. 303. That's pretty. It's like dusty purple. Right, Linda? Deep burgundy. Fabulous. Oh, I did them. Oh, I'm like, the tags are in the way of the beauty <laughs> beautifulness. I just think that's a fun four color combo, too. My brain's apparently mostly in four color mode because that's what it keeps picking out. Then we're going to transition over into a little more neutral with 1004H, which is like dark espresso brown and then this deep shadows in the forest green I really like this one 
Then we have 264, which is a charcoal gray. A little transition to lighter colors with 711. This one is a kind of ombre color from silver to charcoal. Oh, we have two more. I was thinking it'll fit, but Tight no, squeeze. it won't. <laughs> we got to move some things. 2247, which is like a tonal pewter. And then color 250, the creamy white. I'll show you guys a couple more patterns, and then I'll show you all of those variegateds that are hiding behind me. More. This, yeah, I, this is why some was hiding behind me, because I'm like, it's going to fall off the counter. I can't stack it all in one spot. Sterling Fiona. Look how pretty the stitch pattern is on this. Another slip stitch? I, I think, think so. so. Let's see if it'll let me zoom this one. It looks like that, you know that purl two together, knit two together, yeah. same stitch thing? It almost yeah. looks like that. I could be wrong. But it's something similar to that. Very pretty. Just two colors. It's a shawl, not a cowl. And that one is two skeins. One of each color. multitask here. You want the next? Oh, you got them all? Yeah, no. Wait. Then we have Ooh, this that's Clarity Shawl. Fun! Which is really funny because that one came up when I was searching for two color patterns and I only see one color. Right. I'm like, you guys confuse me. There's a texture in that stockinette, isn't there? Or is it just the color? I think it's just the color. Oh, it's so really pretty. fun, like a little bit more open than usual mesh lace, so it's got to be like the double yarn over one. It's like yeah. an I-cord bind off. And then, yeah, it's just stockinette at the top. It's just the color of their yarn that made it look like there was something extra going on in there. Shelly, it is a, a me shawl. Needs some beads, but totally. This one? Oh, I, this is where the two colors came from. They oh, double-stranded fingering to get sneaky. a worsted gauge. So that means cut this yardage in half. So 400 yards, two skeins. No beads on worsted for me. Oh no, those would be pony beads. Right, no, th no thank you. I mean, you could pre-string them, but they just don't, s I don't like the way they sit. I'm gonna bring electric slide back because okay. this is like its tie-dye friend, 1045, which is splashes of highlighter orange, lemon yellow, lime green, cobalt blue, a little of that deep water turquoise, hot pink, some violet, some vermilion, and a little splash of white. Wait, what was under that? A little bit of that. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Yeah, it's like that sterling blue. Yeah. Very pretty. That is 1045. Then we have 761. It's got that beautiful vermilion color, hot pink, indigo, and then that red violet neon color. Linda wants yarn content. Oh, it is 80% extra fine merino wool, 20% silk, 219 yards per skein. Worsted weight. Right, 761 wowzers. Then we have Summer Sunset. That fabulous bold neon combination of the electric yellows, the highlighter orange. Then you've got some deep violet, some indigo and navy, some like bright cobalt blue. What do you call in that one right there? Um, violet. Okay. I got distracted by other colors. <laughs> then, yeah, stop looking at my pile over 
over here. I wasn't even looking at that. I was, I was looking at this skein. Okay, then we have Northern Lights, which is kind of those indigo navies, the like highlighter purple, neon red violet, hot pink, gold, sunflower. Write down Mont Solaire. I have an idea, please. If you want to see this color, you look at Vaunt Solaire on our pattern page. It's out of Merino Cloud. Squirrel Wait. Loops. What did I see? Why did I think I said that? What? My brain just went crazy. Like ignore me. Squirrel Loops. Is that like fruit <laughs> Loops for squirrels? <laughs> just ignore my brain. All right. I'm going to show you guys a couple more projects and then the last few colors. This is Cold Sunlight by Melanie Bird. It's almost like that construction of Weekender, but it has color contrast in the ribbing and at the bottom, and then this super fun, simple, ferrile pattern at the bottom. <laughs> Shelly, her laugh changed to lollipops. <laughs> okay, y'all are making any sense this morning. You two are cut off. You and Shelly are cut off thought, from whatever you're sniffing oh, this morning. Just yarn. And this mm -hmm. pattern has seven sizes from a 39 and a half to a 63 and a quarter. And let's see, two skeins to three skeins for the first color, then three to five for your main color, and then one for probably the gold. In that one. Phyllis, this one is Northern Lights. Shelly, she's losing it. Didn't oh. get her coffee before you hit the road. That's just wrong. You got to get coffee. This sweater would also work for, remember how we were like, oh, these four colors and electric yes. slide. You could do a color, a stripe of electric slide, a color, a stripe of electric slide. Mm, so pretty. This is just a really simple, kind of the same silhouette as Weekender a little bit, but you've got all this fun play and texture of stockinette, some like garter rib, garter stitch, and then the stripes of the neon in between. I would, the only thing I would probably change is I would probably just make the sleeves all the main color on this one because it kind of makes a little bit of like donut arms. <laughs> I mean, I make all my sweaters short-sleeved anyways because I'm too warm for long-sleeved sweaters anymore, but there we are. This is the Highlights Pullover by Tiff Nealon, and it has 11 sizes from a 33 and a quarter to a 68 and three quarters. And overall is, let's see if she breaks down the two colors without us buying the pattern. So it's going to be four to nine skeins of the main color and one skein of the contrast color, no matter what. Look at the little mosaic on that one right there. Oh, it's got a cute little detail. I wonder if it's duplicate stitch. Might be. Because how would you carry that around? Uh, yeah, I'll go with... Um... That or just Duplicate. worked flat, not in the round. Like, maybe it's seamed. Could be. Let's see. One drop sleeve in the round. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, that could just be for the sleeves. I don't know. I'm, One I, piece. I feel like you'd have to do it flat right there or duplicate stitch that later, and I'm not duplicate stitching. No. <laughs> oh, wait, it does say worked flat right there. So maybe the yeah, body which... is probably flat. It has to be worked flat at least for this part, the shoulder part right. anyways, otherwise there'd be nowhere to stick your arms. Hmm. I don't know. Now I want to figure it out. Right. All right. We have more colors. I'm not done. In We're never done. Gorgeous <laughs> Natique exclusives. We have seven Natique with that beautiful beet pink orchid, the sage gray green, the avocado, the rose pink. Jackie, not a lame question. She wants us to explain the 7 Series, so maybe oh, open yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, Pearl. 
7 Nattie because it's a great choice for that. 7 series are kind of a play on self-striping or ombre where you have, depending on the colorway, either more blended or this one's a little more colorful in the stripes, but you're going to get stripes of color in this one versus like a variegated. What's in the drawer that and then like knits it, up? Like 7-Eleven, which was the gray one we showed you. I'll show you that for reference because it has less colors going on in it. It's going to be more of an ombre striping than a colorful striping. But no, not a lame question at all. I don't think we'd started corrupting you into fabulous yarn yet when the 7 Series was first <laughs> came out. Alright, then we have another 7 Series color, 71022. This one is silver and like a dusty orchid and a mauve and a deep gray violet, some of that beautiful like sagey avocado. Scorched lime. Yeah, <laughs> but like this section right here kind of shows all the colors. Then, but wait, there's more. Can't stop, won't stop. We have fire and ice with the lilac and dusty lavender, kind of a denim blue, pewter gray. There's some persimmon orange, this soft um, dreamsicle creamy orange color. Well, Silky Twist is Melanie's favorite of all time. Wait, how can you pick one? I know. Like, I have several favorite of all time yarns. It's definitely at the top. And this beauty, Rainbow Mountain, which is that color that you guys saw. No, it was in Merino Cloud, but it's the colorway in our Montagna Arc on CL pattern. So you can kind of see how it's a little bit stripey, but also a little bit variegated because of how many colors are in that one. And then... Last but not least, we have 721 for the pink and purple people. It's a tongue twister. Pebble Beach, that's what I did out yes. of this color. Orchid pink, lavender, a little more deep lilac, violet, deep violet purple. Definitely for the pinky purple, slightly unicorn people. Okay, we're gonna quickly do what are we wearing because three minutes till we open because that was a lot of colors. I am wearing Vodka Lemonade. It is a DK weight top down raglan cardigan that everything's worked at once basically. There's no going back and picking up a collar. There's no go back, going back and picking up a neckband. When you bind off, you're done. No pickups. It's got little lace on it. Yeah, it's got a little lace detail on the bottom. It has one in the middle and the back also, but just a little bit of lace. It's dense for those of us who are too hot. And three quarter sleeves. And it is a DK sport weight, so you could definitely, if any of these colors you were in love with, but you want to do my sweater, just pop over to Merino Cloud and look for the same color. Most of them should be there. And then, Shujin. This one is amazing day out of fingering because it's me. Lots of short rows, little mini skeins for the pink. You could do a seven series for the pinks and not deal with minis even also. A lot less tails. All right, we had to be quick about it because we got to open the boutique. So we will see you guys again tomorrow or we'll see you today when you come in. Oh, they want to see the back. I'm like, why are we twirling at me? We're saying twirl around so you can see okay. the lace right there. Like, Whoa, hey. Okay. Like, come closer. All right.
that's it you guys we'll see you again tomorrow have an amazing day